Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this video is dedicated for showing or explaining how to use a tool uh, or a website called Quizlet. Uh, it's similar to quizzes and Kahoot. Uh, uh, so why do we use it? Uh, because sometimes students and also teachers get bored from repeating and using the same uh, platform over and over. So it's good to have more than one tool that can do the same uh, thing. Uh, in your in your uh, tool set. So um, as a start, this is the Quizlet uh, teacher account. I have a premium account, but I will explain uh, uh, the normal features, the basic features and the basic account. And I will tell you what is the main difference between the premium and the um, basic account. So basically this is my uh, home screen. Uh, I have already created uh, more than one class. I have been using Quizlet for more than three years uh, now. So this is the all the classes that I have till now. I, I can add members to, to my class. So this, for example, this is um, for grade uh, seven biology. This is for grade 11 AP chemistry. And I have uh, another one for the physics class. So for example, here in grade 11 AP chemistry, I can add members. I send invitations to my students by copying the link and send them the invitation. So these are some of my students. Then inside each class, I can create new sets uh in uh, in the format of a flashcard uh, and they can also search uh, in on quizlet some teachers are um, sharing their own uh, flashcard sets for free on some uh, or paid accounts so if you have a paid account you'll have access to all these uh, premium features but there are some uh, data sets that are free that you can use okay how can you use it for example if i'm teaching uh, fully atomic ions for grade 11 ap chemistry uh, during the summer we need to review some uh, knowledge of some foundation knowledge before going into depth for example reviewing the naming ionic compounds polyatomic compounds and uh, chemical nomenclature so for example i will send them this data set this flashcards this is the for the polyatomic ions once they press on the polyatomic ions they would see the flashcard if they press on flashcards these are the options that he can use. They can use it as a flashcard, they can learn it as a quiz, they can write the correct answer. They, if in English uh, language arts uh, class, they can spell uh, the correct, uh, the, the word correctly, and they can play it uh, um, as a sort of game, match gravity, and uh, the most fun part is the life uh, part, which I will explain in a while. So for example here, once you press on the flashcard, it will flip and you see the answer. So the sulfate group is SO4, uh, two negative. So this is the idea behind the flashcard. Some students uh, feel uh, it's better to learn uh, using flashcards. Uh, some students need to have it as a quiz. So for example, if they press on learn, they will have it as a MCQ question. So for example, uh, they can click nitrite. If it's correct, it will tell them. If it's wrong, it will it will tell them the correct answer. Then we'll press key to continue. They must answer the question twice uh, before they finish or complete 100% uh, the data set. This is embedded in software. I don't have a choice to, to make it uh, one time. So they can, they should answer the question twice before finishing the data set. Uh, the matching is very straightforward. You will have all the flashcards, uh, two sides of the flashcards, in front of them and they need to match the, the group with the correct name. For example, hydroxide here, it will vanish. Okay, the most interesting part, which will require internet connection, it's called Quizlet Life. Once you press in Quizlet Life, it will open a new window. It's called uh, Welcome to Quizlet Live. It's a collaborative um, and competitive classroom. You can play it individually and you can sort them into teams. Uh, Tom, on the first uh, difference between the premium and the basic account that you can actually uh, sort the students or differentiate uh, the grouping. In the basic account, you cannot do this. They will have random, they will have, uh, random uh, sorting. So uh, random teams or individuals. Uh, I will press on individuals, so I will try to access it via uh, my phone to show you how can you play it. So this is uh, what the students will see. They will see the 
um, the QR code they can scan it using their mobile phones. They first they need to go to www.quizlet.life. They can either enter the code or scan the the game QR code, and you can copy the game link. So if you are playing it uh, via Zoom in uh, online session, you can send them link. You can share your screen so they can scan the QR code, or they can uh, just put the code. Uh, so now I will post the video. Uh, Log in uh, with my phone and uh, share with you the, the screen. Okay, here's the screen uh, recording from uh, my mobile. Um, I accessed my browser, I shared my screen, and I wrote Quizlet Live. Then it asked me to enter my code. The game code is 165. Then I'll continue. Walk in and find a game. It's one six nine six one zero. You'll ask me to enter my name. Waiting for the game leader to start. So I will start the game. At least you should have two players in order to start the invader game. You, at least you should have four players in order to play the team, uh, the team set. Okay. Once they created the game, hang tight, waiting for the game to start. I will start the game from the teacher's account. Now the game is started, they are asked to enter the, the question. For example, the sulfate group, I will click on the right answer. Now I will share with you, I'll pause the video and share with you the teacher preface. Okay, okay, this is the teacher. The teacher can trace, uh, can uh, um, can view the, the student's uh, progress throughout the whole game. You can have up to 20 or 25 students per game, and you can see which student are, uh, are yeah, uh, correctly and uh, correct are correctly answering the, the questions so you can go and uh, move around the class uh, support some uh, groups or uh, make some um, let them uh, or actually randomize the group you have a proper differentiation uh, for example if the grouping if you are if you have this idea of grouping students according to academic level uh, you can have one above level, one on level, one below level students in each group so they can help each other uh, move through the game. If you found there are some misconceptions uh, inside the, the data set, you should move around, uh, try to pause the game and make a quick reflection, then go back and resume the game. Uh, from my experience, it's better to play the game more than once. Uh, students uh, can actually master the game from the second time uh, and they will try uh, solving or knowing the correct answer without even uh, reading the rest of the question. Uh, it's pretty straightforward for the easy concepts uh, like reviewing old content or uh, uh, just making sure that they know a proper terminology before going into a new concept. So uh, this is how you can play it live. The main difference between the premium and the beta account in the paid account, you can actually choose the students and allocate them in each group. Uh, in the basic account, it will randomize the students. Uh, that's why I face I face the problem. Many once I started using Quizlet, because the, sometimes the groups are 
are not fairly distributed and they have uh, groups with um, smart students or beyond level students and some uh, other groups are struggling and they become frustrated and they stop playing the game. So it's very easy to play it either uh, inside the class in a physical environment. Um, the, the students uh, should have their mobile phones. Um, sometimes I play it with only five or six mobile phones, so it's uh, good to have it. Uh, no need to have uh, individual phones for each student. And another way you can play it with students uh, at home while doing your online session. It's very good in engaging the students and you will find um, you'll find out which one is uh, is focused and which one is staying around um, and not paying attention to the to the game itself. So this is all. Please uh, feel free to ask me if you need to to know more about the premium account or you need to to know more about uh, the possibilities of using Quizlet uh, inside your class. So now I.